Hello, the story I have for you today is called A Big Moon Cake for Little Star. It is by Grace Lynn. Hmm, I wonder what a moon cake is. Do you know? Oh, look, when you open the book, look at this. <gasps> That's beautiful. See that beautiful picture? Maybe it's a mom and a daughter, and they're baking something. Have you ever baked something with anyone in your family? Little Star's mama laid the big moon cake onto the night sky to cool. Now Little Star mama said, your moon cake took us a long time to bake, so let's see if you can make it last a while. Can you remember not to touch this big moon cake until I tell you so? Yes, mama, Little Star said, nodding. So look, they baked a big moon cake. And that must be Little Star. You think she can stay away from it? And Little Star remembered as she brushed her teeth, washed her face, snuggled into bed, and fell asleep. What is she remembering? Not to touch that moon cake. But in the middle of the night, what happened? Little Star woke up. She forgot everything her mama had said, and she only remembered the big moon cake. What do you think she's going to do? Little Star's soft feet tiptoed to the big moon cake. Pat, pat, pat. She's being sneaky. Would her mama notice if she took just a tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Mmm. Yum. Look, she took such a tiny piece you could hardly see it. Do you think her mom will notice that? But was someone coming? Little Star flew back to bed. She almost got caught and look, she's got crumbs all over herself. The next night, Little Star remembered the big moon cake again. That one bite had been so sweet and tasty. Hmm, was the cake still there? What do you think? Yes, it was. There was that big moon cake, almost a perfect circle, all alone and delicious in the sky. Would her mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Hmm. Yum! Little Star flew back to bed. Look, you can kind of see she's a little behind her. It almost makes her look like a real shooting star. And the next night, what do you think Little Star remembered? The big moon cake. Would Mama notice if she took another tiny nibble? Little Star didn't think so. Yum. She's taking a couple tiny nibbles, but little tiny nibbles can be a lot if you put them all together. And the night after that, what did little star do? Nibble, nibble, yum. You're starting to see it's not a circle anymore, that moon cake. Night after night, Little Star took tiny nibble after tiny nibble of the big moon cake. Look, she's only taking tiny nibbles, but look, she keeps taking them <gasps> until look, it's almost all the way gone. You think her mama will notice? 
until one night Little Star's mama went to look for the big moon cake. Where was it? It was gone. Instead of a glowing round cake, there was just a trail of twinkling crumbs. Uh-oh. Little star, her mama said, shaking her head, even though her mouth was curving into a smile. You ate the big mooncake again, didn't you? And little star looked up, her grin reflecting her mama's smile. Is she mad? Or does she kind of knew it was going to happen? What do you think? Yes, mama, little star said, nodding. Now let's go make another one. Do you think they're going to make another one? What are they doing? They're making another one. Now the author has a note in here. She says, the mid-autumn moon festival is my favorite Asian holiday and one of the customs is eating moon cakes. Wow, so she took something she knew, mooncakes, which is part of a holiday she celebrates, and she turned it into a story. Wow, what do you think about that? What are some holidays you celebrate with your family? Maybe you celebrate Christmas, maybe you celebrate Diwali, maybe you celebrate Kwanzaa or Passover, or maybe the New Year, and all of those holidays have something special with them. I hope you liked this story. I'll read you later. Bye.